Fuck it. Oh, God, bro, my day, that face. Woo! No, get up. Get coming. Run. Run away. Run. Oh, dear, look at that face. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MGM channel. I'm your host, Cornish. Today, we have a cool game to talk about, and that game is Little Nightmares 2. Little Nightmares 2 is a dark, gritty horror game, which is a platformer. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, the visual is absolutely incredible. Um, you as Mono, a young boy trapped in a world that has been destroyed by evil transmissions. Later through the game, you meet a person called Six, and set out to discover the source of the transmission, and why the entire place is totally messed up. Now, as I said about the game itself, the visuals is absolutely incredible i couldn't believe it and the story time base is four hours i beat it in ooh, ooh, around four hours and 14 minutes to be precise but that entire journey was worth its price i'm gonna tell you so let's start off with the game itself now when i play my horror games i expect jump scares and a lot of stuff that will scare the crap out of me. It doesn't need jump scares, this game. This is this game that can show you you can do a horror game without the jump scares. And I like that. And uh, there are, I guess, more of a panic situation where you have to, like, really think and run. That kind of thing's cool. Not the occasional bang jump scare type thing. So that's really, really good. Um, there are moments in the game where you get chased and... The chases are really, really cool. Okay. Oh, God, bro, my day, that face! Woo! No, get up! Get coming! Run! Run away! Run! Oh, dear, look at that face! Run! <laughs> oh, oh, that head still coming! That head is still here! Yeah! <laughs> but no, this horror game doesn't do jump scares. It does panic scares. And I like panic scares because you will have to think as well as run to find and try not to get caught. I like those type of games. It brings back to the um, Blackout Club review I did. You know, it's not, it's not scary. It's the fact that when something chases you, that's when it's scary. And Little Nightmares put one of those in, which is really cool. The, the areas itself are really gritty and dark. It really is. Like, the areas you go to is so, so dark. It's awesome, <laughs> you know? I think that's the word I can put it down. Um, every area you go through, every room you go through, it's so fascinating to see all these new things happen. And, like, just this, the background itself, like, whatever's happening behind it is really entertaining to watch as well as you tra uh, traveling but uh let's talk about the puzzles the puzzles are very creative and there's a lot of cool areas where you have to really like scratch your brain and tell you well, what do i do next and you literally have to walk around the entire room to figure out the puzzle that's fun uh there are a lot of climbing puzzles there's a lot of there's an elevator puzzle which got me and uh i really enjoyed that one as well but i will say the uh Huh. The, 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 the creatures in the game are horrifying. They are absolutely horrifying. They're not jump scary horrifying, they are scary. Uh, say for instance, the teacher in the classroom where you uh, end up going through the school and you have to try and get out of the school and that teacher, man, oh, she is one scary woman. Oh, thank you. All right, let's climb up. Yo, I want that key. No, 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 no. What the actual? Oh, no. Oh, mate. <laughs> okay. No. Which one of you? F oh! Yeah! No! 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 No!
That is absolutely horrible. There you go. Oh, mate. It's a dungeon nightmares level. And there's many more to come because there's loads of things I don't want to spoil. Uh, story base is really, really good and the plot twists in the game is interesting. Let's say that. That's, that's best to say that. You're going to have to trust me on how cool the story is. Um, for me, uh, I would say the story is, is, is very interesting, but at the same time, uh, I don't know enough lore of the game to understand which character is which, but I know um, Six is one of the characters from the first one. Uh, another thing which I found quite amusing, some people have started saying this game is a prequel, and then another group of people saying it's a sequel. Now, for my personal thought, from what I've played, um, I find it more of a prequel, if I'll be honest with you. I, I know someone's going to say in the comments, oh no, it's a sequel, but it, it just looks like a prequel, and it acts like a prequel, especially like the, the, the you know, the ending. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's a complicated story base, but it's also a fantastic journey throughout the game. You know, locations are absolutely brilliant. The suspense moments are incredible, and the puzzles are fantastic. And that's my review on Little Nightmares 2. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Leave a like if you did enjoy the content. And I will see you all soon. Cornish signing out. Take care and have a wonderful day.